Hello, hello, this is Grace Everlasting 7 here, and I am back with another video. Before I start, I would like to thank all my subscribers and viewers, especially those of you that comment on my videos. I've just hit about 50 subscribers now, and I'm pretty excited. Since I'm a small channel, it means a lot to me, people that are watching it and commenting on it and subscribing. I love you all, thanks so much. It makes this all the more fun, making all these videos of something that I love and having other people to share it with. So thank you all so much for all the views and the comments. I greatly appreciate them and please keep them coming. Now, without further ado, let's talk about this game that I have in front of me here. And this is Fire Emblem Warriors. And it just came out. I actually just got it in the mail. So you can tell it's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet. And I haven't played any of the Warriors franchise games, so I'm not too familiar with it. This is the first one I decided to pick up. And this game only plays in 2D. It's not a 3D game, even though it says for the new Nintendo 3DS, it doesn't play in 3D. On the back here, it gives a little synopsis of the gameplay. It says, save the world from the evil Chaos Dragon in this fusion of Fire Emblem and Warriors style gameplay. Command Marth, Krom, Corrin, and other legendary heroes in a fully voiced journey of swordplay and strategy. Obliterate hordes of enemies in action-packed fights while dominating the battlefield with tactical commands to your troops. And pair up your favorite Fire Emblem heroes and take advantage of the classic weapon triangle to lay waste to your foes. So, like I said, I'm not too familiar with this, so I'm looking forward to popping this in and see how it plays. And just so you're aware, it is compatible with the new Nintendo 2DS XL systems. So this works on the new 3DS and the new 2DS XL only. It does not work on the regular 3DS or 2DS systems. So if you do not have a new Nintendo 3DS or new Nintendo 2DS XL, this will not work. Okay, so let's actually bust this open here. If I can, I might need some scissors. Let's grab some scissors here. Pop the plastic open, because you can never get the plastic open by yourself. Ooh, shiny. It's been a while since I bought a new game. Shiny and crinkly. All right, so inside here, you get the game, Fire Emblem Warriors, and the little paper telling you how to view the manual. And I will say, I am still very sad that games do not come with manuals. I love that little extra touch of a manual. I am definitely going to miss that. So that's all you get in here. Nothing else. All right. So... What I'm gonna do is stop this part of the video here and I will be back and we'll fire up this game and see how it goes. Okay, here we are with Fire Emblem Warriors. Let's get it started here. And let's see how it boots up. I'm only shooting the top screen, so bottom screen says loading. Unfortunately, I don't have a capture card, so this is the way I have to do it. Recording screen. All right, we have to create new save data because I haven't played this before. I just busted it open.
Nice intro. I liked it. Pretty good. Okay, let's see here. Fire Emblem Warriors. Fire Emblem Warriors, thank you. Alright. Let's get this started here. Okay, um... I guess I'll pick Rowan. Well... Easy, normal, or hard. Since I've never played this, um, I might go on easy. Judge me if you want to. And game style. A more casual style in which fallen allies will return in the next chapter, or classic, a classic style in which fallen allies will not automatically return. Which is kind of like the true Fire Emblem. They have like permadeath. Um, for this video, I think I'm just going to go casual. Maybe we'll do another playthrough different. And a lot of options to go through here. Slow and steady. Take more time to examine strategic information like level up stats, mission briefs, and mid-battle guide windows. Quick and efficient, keep the action flowing, turn off level up windows, and mission briefs, only important guides will appear. Well, since this is my first one, let's just go slow and steady and see what it does. And um, if it winds up being too long, maybe I'll cut something out or put timestamps. So we'll see how it goes. Begin the game with these settings. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's see. Loading. You can't see that loading screen, it's on the bottom one. I don't know how much of this is on the bottom screen or the top screen, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so, oh good, basic action, so I was going to say, and I do what now? So Y is regular attack, X is strong attack, B is dodge, and A is warrior special. Okay, so Y and X, dodge, and then warrior special, so I probably won't use the warrior special too much. Okay, a little opposite of what I'm used to playing. Usually B or A is like the regular attacks, but that's okay. Um, alrighty. I guess we'll see how it goes. Usually it's hard to memorize this right off the bat. Kind of just bash them and go. Like smash all the buttons. Mash all the buttons. And get my butt kicked. Okay. Changing characters. Okay. So, I can switch between playable characters by pressing up or down. You cannot change to characters whose face icons are dimmed. Sometimes more characters will become playable over the course of a battle. Alright. Oh, I hit my dodge button by mistake. So, obviously, as you can see, this plays like a beat em up. And 
like I said, I have never played something like this style. None of the games in the Warriors franchise. But so far, I like it. It's really fun. Um, bit of a kind of just button mashing until you get used to all of the controls and everything. Guess I go to the next section here. That was my dodge roll. Mm. Gotta tell you, this camera C stick is handy on here. For sure. Okay. Almost forgot it was on here. Nice finishing moves. Cool. All right, I guess we're going to the next section here. Still something running around. I've got to say, I'm really enjoying this. And you can change the difficulty on this. I was playing on easy because this is new to me. But once I get into it, probably bump it up a little bit. But I like it. It's really fun. It's one of those games where, uh, well, for right now, it seems like you don't have to think too much to play it. Which is fine, because there are some games where you have to think, and there are some games where you don't, and sometimes you just feel like playing a game where you just want to mash buttons, and that is totally okay. Alrighty, so, let's see where I'm going here. This game is also on the Nintendo Switch. Let Leanna take it instead. I'm gonna be Aetolus' most powerful knight. Well, I don't want it either. You can be a knight and a king. No, I don't want to be both. I'm not taking the crown. And again with the bickering. You two stand at the cusp of adulthood. What would he think of it if your father saw you acting like this? Prince Darius of Bristol has arrived. Darius is here? These cutscenes are good. I like the voice acting too.
the cam. about switching characters again. Okay, so escape. Warrior special. When one or more bars of a warrior gauge are full, press A to unleash a powerful warrior special. The yellow bar in the top left corner of the screen. It fills up when you defeat enemies or collect yellow recovery items. Got it. Okay. Wow. Okay. That would be the warrior special. That was a pretty neat move. HP tonic. Sometimes enemies will drop items when they've been defeated. Green tonics will restore some of your HP. Tonics come in different sizes and colors. The larger the tonic, the greater the effect. You can also find them by breaking jars on the battlefield. Got it. Medium recovery. Okay. Let's see. They're right behind me. I'm supposed to finish killing them off, but I think it helps fills up gauges and stuff, so I'll find out along the way. Here's more monsters. Defeat the monster blocking the escape point. Lock on. When you see an arrow above an enemy's head, press ZL and the camera will lock on and face the enemy's direction. Well, I don't know if I could do that right now with the way I'm recording. We'll see. And critical hit. While in battle, you'll occasionally see a stun gauge appear above the enemy's head. Attack to deplete the gauge and execute a critical hit. Cool. Alrighty, where is that monster? Oh, he's over there. Alrighty, monster defeated.
All right, I think I'm gonna pause it right here. I don't want this video to be too long. Although I am enjoying playing this game, I really don't wanna stop. But as far as this game goes, as I mentioned before, it is on the Nintendo Switch also. I don't have a Nintendo Switch, so I can't compare what these games look like as far as performance, but um, I do have a Nintendo 2DS XL. That is what I was playing this on, and it seemed to play just fine. So if you have a new Nintendo 3DS or new Nintendo 2DS XL, I think it will play it just fine. Probably not the same quality as the Switch, but that's a completely different beast. As far as Fire Emblem Warriors, I was really enjoying this game. I think it is a lot of fun. Um, it has some good cutscenes and story input in between the action. I don't think it's boring. The controls are really good. They're simple. They're not too difficult. Just takes a little time for you to figure out which buttons are which, but it's really not too bad. Um, there's a whole bunch of options you can do as far as gameplay and difficulty and your play style, so that's awesome. The tutorial is there as you go, so you don't really have to play a tutorial first. It's there as you need it. And I would highly recommend this game. If you like beat-em-ups, um, I would definitely pick this up. This is a lot of fun. I think it's well worth it. Either on the 3DS or Nintendo Switch, whichever one you own, I would highly suggest that you pick up this game. All right, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for other videos. I have a new series, Games I Haven't Played Until Now, where I play games that are in my collection but I haven't had a chance to play, and then I give you my thoughts and first impressions on them. And I also have other collection videos from my N64 and games from my 2DS Excel, um, DS games and 3DS games that I'm starting to collect since I picked up that system. So please stay tuned for updates for those videos. All right, that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. Thank you.